Good evening, Bahamas. Coming up tonight on our news. Prime Minister Perry Christie announces an election date. That story straight ahead. The FNM leader says there's only one real option come May 10th. The story coming up. The leader of the DNA weighs in on the May 10th election date. That story is coming up straight ahead. Our news is brought to you by Alive the nation's newest and best LTE network. Good to be alive. Welcome to our news and thanks for joining us. I'm Christina McNeil. Topping news tonight. The 2017 general election will be held on May 10th. Prime Minister Perry Christie made the announcement this morning after months of anticipation. Our Jasmine Brown was there for the major announcement and filed this report. The Prime Minister made the announcement that just about everyone was waiting for at his Goodwins Bay office. In general elections that will take place throughout the Commonwealth of the Bahamas on Wednesday the 10th of May 2017. The Prime Minister's announcement came amid growing calls for Christie to ring the bell. With the date now set, it signals the official countdown to what is expected to be a hotly contested general election. Despite reports of discrepancies on the current register and allegations of vote buying, Christie said he has no doubt the election will be free and fair. We are one of the oldest democracies in the hemisphere. Our parliament traces its history back hundreds of years. Let us, by our conduct in the general election campaign, continue to prove ourselves worthy of the great democratic traditions of free, fair, and peaceful elections that have made our country the marvel of nations around the world. The Prime Minister also called for candidates to run clean campaigns. Let us contest the forthcoming elections with all the vigor at our command. Let us do so, however, with respect for the human dignity of our opponents and with respect for the traditions we all hold dear. According to Parliamentary Commissioner Sherlyn Hall, around 170,000 people have registered to vote in the upcoming election. Hundreds of people lined up outside the various centers yesterday on the last day of voter registration. Christie made this appeal to voters. It is now left to you, the citizenry of our beloved nation, to decide who will fill those seats in the next House of Assembly. In doing so, you will also be deciding who will form the government of the Bahamas for the next five years. The last general election was held on May 7, 2012. Reporting for our news, I'm Jasmine Brown. And minutes before the Prime Minister announced the election date, Commissioner of Police Ellison Greenslade, acting in his capacity as Provo Marshal, stood on the steps of the House of Assembly and read a proclamation from Governor General Dame Marguerite Pinling dissolving Parliament. In exercise of the powers conferred upon the Governor General by Article 66.2 of the Constitution and acting in accordance with the advice of the Prime Minister, I, Dame Marguerite Pendling, Governor General of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, do hereby proclaim that Parliament shall be and is hereby dissolved on the 11th day of April 2017. Greenslade also read a second proclamation revealing that Parliament will reconvene on May 24th. Now, therefore, I, Dame Marguerite Pendling, Governor General of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, acting in accordance with the advice of the Prime Minister, do hereby proclaim that the next session of Parliament shall be held in the city of Nassau in the island of New Providence on Wednesday, the 24th day of May, 2017, and shall commence at 10 o'clock in the forenoon. Well, Free National Movement leader Dr. Hubert Minna says the day that FNM members and Bahamians have been waiting for has finally arrived. With an election date set, the FNM leader says the countdown is on and the PLP should enjoy its last 29 days in office. Kyle Joaquin reports. Dr. Minnis said the FNM has built a real change team of 39 candidates and come May 10th, he's encouraging all Bahamians to go out and support them. 
Addressing a room filled with the party's candidates and supporters, FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis said the countdown is on to the day Bahamans can send Perry Christie into retirement. The bell has rung. Yeah. We need all hands on deck to go out and vote them out. While the FNM has suffered its own challenges over the past five years with a leadership battle and Minnis' removal as the opposition leader, Minnis said the Bahamian people are the ones who have really suffered. The PLP misrule of the past five years has finally come to an end. And I want you to make no mistake, this election is a referendum on the past versus the future. Minister said if Bahamans need a reason to vote the PLP out of office, they need only look at the many scandals that have rocked this administration, from the Rubus oil spill, missing funds at government departments, and unresolved issues like crime and unemployment. He then spoke of the FNM's team with new faces like Jeffrey Lloyd, Marvin Dames, and businessman Dionisio de Aguilar. We call on all Bahamians to come together and work with your FNM candidate to ensure that the people of the Bahamas do not have to suffer another five years under the progressive Liberal Party government. Minutes would not take questions from the media during today's news conference, only reading from a prepared statement. But now that the bell has been rung, the FNM heads to R.M. Bailey Park on Tuesday, April 18th, for the party's first mass rally. Change will come on May 10th. Yeah. <laughs> Reporting for R News, I'm Kyle Joaquin. And several cabinet ministers are reacting to the election date announcement. Although the date is less than four weeks away, those ministers our news spoke to say they believe it's more than enough time to get their message across. Member of Parliament for MyCal, V. Alfred Gray, says with the May 10th date looming, those campaigns will intensify. People have been campaigning now for weeks, um, so I don't think anybody is surprised at the short uh, um, time between now and the elections because to the truth be told everybody's been out there um, doing what they think they ought to be doing and now I'm sure it will intensify after Holy Week and so the intensity and the brevity of it makes it exciting. Gray is one of many cabinet ministers who will be seeking re-election as a member of parliament. Member of parliament for Golden Gates, Shane Gibson, is also a candidate for the PLP in the 2017 general election. Gibson says he has always been active in his constituency. For my, was elected back in 2002, I've always maintained a very heavy presence in Golden Gates. Um, I, I don't go too much for the public presence. I go for the individual presence with each household. And so um, I don't publicize what I do. I just make sure that I'm, I touch as many constituents as possible in Golden Gates. And so um, if there is a ramping up to be done, I guess it will be done over the next uh, four to five weeks. Meantime, Attorney General Allison Maynard Gibson says she believes the PLP has a very good chance of winning the next general election. Yes, the answer is yes. That's my personal belief. But much more importantly, I just urge people to, in, the, in their own quiet moments, just think about their future and who's, which government they'd like to see their future, their, their children and their own future in. And very importantly, pray for God's guidance, the guidance of the Holy Spirit in all of these things. This is very important to the future of our country. Meantime, Democratic National Alliance leader Branville McCartney says the time is limited for Bahamians to make an informed decision for a party that can turn the state of the country around. Giorgio Bain reports. With there being just four weeks until the general election, leader of the Democratic National Alliance, Branville McCartney, says he's not faced by the short time span because his party is more than ready to tackle the real issues of Bahamian people. And it was a day that we anticipated. As a matter of fact, that was a day that... Uh, speaking with my, my, my colleagues, it was the day that I, I said was the most likely day that the Prime Minister would call it, the 10th of, 10th of May. As soon as the Lent season is complete, McCartney says his party will kick its campaign into high gear. We uh, will now start um, putting out the posters, uh, the banners, um, having um, individual 
meetings within or street meetings, uh, rallies. McCartney, who is hoping to secure his old seat in Bamboo Town after losing to Renwood Wells in 2012, says polls conducted by the DNA show his candidates will bring home the victory. The candidates on the ground, they feel very good. We are in contact. We have our database and we can determine how each candidate is doing, uh, who's supportive of who within the or who say they're supportive of who within the respective constituencies. And for the most part, most of the candidates are very comfortable. They, they, feel, they feel good about it. McCartney says while he is not making any predictions on how many seats the DNA will capture, he hopes Bahamians will make the right choice. I'm not going to call a number. I'm not going to call a number. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that we wish to become the next government of this country. Reporting for our news, I'm Georgia Bain. Still to come on our news, voters sound off on top issues going into the next general election. Stay with us.